Hello students of class 9, student and your computer teacher Prakash Srivastav. I think well, I am once again in front of you and uh, today's topic for this chapter green skills. I think green skills, if I think about the green skills, means without the harming the nature. If we use the things, if we make the things without harming the environment, it means the green skills. And what do you think about the, this title, green skills? Please write me in my comment box in YouTube. Okay, straight, let's talk about, and today is the topic environment you can see here this is a given natural environment artificial environment society and the environment and next after that ecosystem in the ecosystem we find here the three element in the ecosystem autotrophs heterotrophs and decomposers i think i will try my best to tell you uh, as i think you know about science teacher tell you all this thing properly and thoroughly but it is a given in the chapter so I will try my best to tell you about these things in my level so now here as a given the environment environment means uh, what do we see around us all things is called here the environment means uh, like living things or non-living things here now after that we find here in the category of the environment, natural environment means like uh, such an environment without uh, made of human means like as a sun, as a water, as a land means in form of the different word we say as a lithosphere, hydrosphere and uh, biosphere these are called in this term also so we say these are on here the natural environment artificial which are made by the human beings means uh, that is a artificial environment society and the environment uh, means in our society uh, we need lots of the things uh, to complete our to meet our needs here so it means we totally are dependent on the environment and uh, for the using of these things we uh, means without the thinking we use these things uh, very rapidly and one day it will be exhausted if we are using like this next here ecosystem in the ecosystem as uh, both are things here living with this when the non-living things and living things means when living things interact with the li uh, non-living things is uh, called here the ecosystem then it makes the ecosystem here and in this ecosystem we find here the autotrophs heterotrophs and decomposers the autotrophs such a kind of the here the such a plant uh, means which produce their foods by own and uh, now here we find the heterotrophs uh, such a kind of the uh, living which depends on the other animals for their food or survival Decompose such organisms decompose the complex things in a dead or remains things. To student, let we talk these things in a video. I mean by the clip. So let's see these thing in a clip. You can see the screen of the environment where we find the everything here. Means uh, as I told you, ki. Our environment is everything and that surrounds us from the trees, mountains, roads, buildings, things and even people. And what you think? Means if you see around your sides, what do you find? That is the environment. Because that is a part of our environment. And it is a combination of both natural, human-made elements means uh, that can be as a natural and human made elements or things these elements we can divide into two types biotic and abiotic biotic elements are all the living organisms 
uh, biotic elements include the all the non living things i think you know about about this biotic and biotic uh, because you study these things also in the science then after we find uh, natural environment means everything that is a uh, not human made comes under natural environment means which is a uh, which are not made by the human we can categorize in the category of the natural environment like here the land air water plants and animals all the comprises the natural environment so let us learn about the different domains of the natural environment and these are the as i told you um, on the screen okay, these are the lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere so as i think you, you know about the lithosphere is a solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth and it is made up of the rocks and minerals and covered with a thin layer of soil the lithosphere is an irregular surface with mountains plateaus plains valleys landform etc can be in a term of the the hard top layer of the earth it is a made up of rocks and minerals and the covered with the thin layers of the soil the lithosphere is an irregular surface with mountains plateaus plains valleys landform as lithosphere as a suggesting the word ki this is a uh, related to our earth means the surface of the earth here the so on the earth we find the many realms as a uh, like plateau plains valleys landform so it is the domains that provides us with forest grasslands for grazing land for agriculture and housing it is also a source of minerals the now student next we can see also the hydro sphere as we can say okay, this is related to the water and water is flowing you can see on the screen the water is a flowing rivers like a so hydrosphere is a domain of water it comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies these oceans etc it is essential for all living organisms this when we find this is the lithosphere here is a very important means uh, water you can say it is a very essential for all living organism without it no one can survive on the earth now next we come on the topic of the atmosphere is the thin layer of the air that surrounds the earth it is held by the gravitational force of the earth the atmosphere protects us from the harmful uv rays from the sun by blocking them out and it contains a number of gases like oxygen which essential for life dust and water vapor changes in atmosphere brings changes in atmosphere bring changes in weather and climate means all life make up the as a possible through the atmosphere so now here next we find here the life makes up by here the biosphere it is the zone of the earth where land water and air interact with each other and support the life on the earth so this is student we find here such a, a essential part of our environment now next we find here student artificial environment that is a human environment we can say in the um, as a different word here so as a artificial environment is the man made environment and it is has been modified by the humans according to their needs before technology evolved human beings would adapt themselves to the natural environment they led a simple life and fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them with the time their needs grew and became more varied the human learned new ways to change their environment according to their needs and they learned to grow crops to mass ticket animals and build the houses and they invented the wheel 
barter system, trade and commerce. I think you have studied all these things in the history. But uh, these all changes uh, were going on according uh, with the advancement of the people. So now we find here the also the some transportation became faster, larger scale production was possible through the industrial revolution. Communication became easier and speedy across the world. They have the formed an artificial ecosystem. The student, as we find here, case, uh, human tried to make a perfect balance with the nature and. Uh, that is uh, necessary between the natural and human made environment so if we use uh, the sources provided by the environment wisely we can establish a healthy balance Next now we find here the society and the environment a student uh, as you know we all are depend on the environment for our needs so it means when we interact uh, with the environment uh, the then uh, the environment uh, also here uh, some has uh, changes means uh, like a uh, human society are undergoing constant changes so while we can safely say the society a large values the environment the variety of people in the society have different interest and their needs and it is difficult to arrive at the clear and concrete plan to ensure the production of our environment now next we find here the ecosystem the first question arise in our mind ki what is the ecosystem the ecosystem is an uh, you can say all the plants animals and the human beings depend on each other the relation between living organisms as well as the relation between living organism and the environment from an form an ecosystem means these are relation between the living with the environment makes a relation here and this is a form the ecosystem an ocean is an example of an ecosystem because it comprises of living organisms land air you can say in dissolved form you can say land and air dissolved we can see he, the example of here the water of course and what of the course here so this is the ecosystem and you can see here on the screen the animals and uh, here the plants uh, waters uh, are interacting with each other and then make uh, the ecosystem means they are all depends to each other and then it makes a ecosystem as we know if without the other we cannot live like as a here plants plants um, you can say okay, without us cannot survive and we cannot survive without the plants so this is here interaction between the human and animals and here the environment also then it makes a beautiful ecosystem beautiful environment and student we can divide uh, this ecosystem in a like here the autotrophs and heterotrophs so as we know ki food is the only source of energy for all living organisms on this planet so now as uh, this food is available from different sources living organisms are further divided based on the modes of nutrition autotrophs and hetero Trops. The student, as you know, ki autotrophs and heterotrophs, like uh, these are the two basic part of the ecosystem. The autotrophs are the organisms that undergo autotrophic mode of nutrition, and these are the organisms that can prepare their own food from the simple substances like carbon dioxide and water. So we we can say. The all green plants are example of autotrophs and these green plants contain chlorophyll pigment in the plant cell that helps in the uh, synthesis of their own food by absorbing energy from the cells and the placed at the primary level in the food web. 
the strain uh, we find here ki the all the plants which produce their own food the it means we can say ki all green plants are here the autotrophs and if we talk about the heterotrophs the heterotrophs are the organisms which cannot prepare their own food and depend upon the producers or green plants and other animals for their food means these are such a organism which depend on other animals for their food so it means this mode of nutrition is known as the heterotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophs rely on the autotrophs to provide a continuous supply of a new organic molecules the heterotrophs are the considered as a consumers in the food web and are placed at a secondary or here tertiary level so it means we can say ki all the non green plants and animals in inclusive of human means including here the human beings are the best example of the heterotrophs because as we know we are also here the heterotrophs and we are depend we depends uh, for our food on the animals and on the plants now to and next here we find decomposers the decomposers are organisms that break down dead or decaying organisms they carry out decomposition a process possible by only certain kingdom such as decomposers decomposers are heterotrophic meaning that they use organic substances to get their energy for growth and development while the term decomposers and uh, are others thing to here we find the such a and of the decomposers which is a detrivore are often interchangeably used detrivores uh, ingest and digest dead matter internally while decomposer directly absorb nutrients through external chemical and biological process the decomposing is also a good things because when it decomposes then it mix with the soil and mix and increase the fertility of the soil the strength for today as a what i told you i might i tried my best to tell you i think you will feel good by looking this video thank you okay so now let come on the conclusion of this video as uh, you saw the clips and uh, i tried my best to tell you about the environment what are the factors what are the causes uh, to degradations of the environment uh, and what are the types of the things uh, which uh, play a crucial role in the environment the so student i think you will uh, study you will see properly this video for further study also means uh, when you read about after this you will understand more about because the all the things are related to each other the student thank you for watching this video thank you